When adding photos to your project in iMovie, a motion effect, known as the Ken Burns effect, is automatically applied. This gives a needed sense of motion to your video to help keep viewer interest. But in some cases, like stop motion or time lapse video, you'll want to disable this for one or more photos. In iMovie for the Macintosh, this is quite simple to do. Simply select all of the desired photos from the timeline, then locate the crop settings above the preview pane. Change the setting from Ken Burns to Crop to Fill and adjust the crop to the desired view. In the iMovie app for iOS devices, the Ken Burns effect is included automatically and can't be disabled, but you can work around it. Begin by selecting a clip. The preview pane shows pinch to position the start, so just pinch and release the clip. It will re-expand to fit the frame. Select the end icon and repeat the process. If the photo was the same size as the project, you're done. Otherwise, you still have to match the beginning and end positions in the window, which is easiest if using the top or bottom or left or right edges, whichever applies. Now the beginning and end positions of the motion effect are the same and the photo remains steady in the frame. Using this process, you can now create special effect movie clips that you can use as assets for your other videos. I'm Tom Spiglannon, and thanks for watching.